Hello, this is Tully Andrews and welcome to the UK edition of TDTV. Flight schedules to and from the UK will continue to face cancellations and delays today as the air industry attempts to resume operations. Gatwick and Heathrow reopened yesterday morning but faced severe disruptions as did Aberdeen, Edinburgh, London City and Birmingham airports. Travel agents have also been warned not to send passengers to airports unless their flights have been officially confirmed. Port of Dover has remained open throughout the latest snow crisis with the port operating normally and all ferries currently sailing to timetable. In light of the Christmas week and travel holdups around the country, staff at the Dover port have been working around the clock to ensure the gateway is still open for business. Meanwhile, despite heavy snow, Portsmouth Ferry Port has also been operating as normal. In other news, more than 200,000 passengers are expected to pass through Liverpool's John Lennon Airport over the holiday period, despite the UK's Arctic conditions. With even more long-haul connections from Liverpool available with KLM via their Amsterdam Schiphol hub, passengers are expected to be jetting off to a wide selection of destinations, not just in Europe but across the world. Andy Gower, Liverpool's airport director, said he was expecting the coming two weeks to be one of the busiest times of the year. Meanwhile, Spain's new AVE high-speed train linking Madrid and Valencia has launched making intercity travel more cost-effective than ever. Taking travellers across the country in just 1 hour and 35 minutes, the new train costs from €120 Euros for a return tourist ticket and started operating at the weekend. The entire journey takes the scenic route through the Casta La Mancha. And finally, in today's news, car hire industry experts have predicted that the cost of hiring a car will be significantly cheaper in 2011. In opposition to a trend that has seen prices rocket by as much as 500% in top summer destinations over the past few years, experts have said that next year we'll see a reduction. The upside for holidaymakers will also be more choice, more availability and competitive prices. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us on the UK edition of TDTV. We'll see you again tomorrow.